We can hear the pentatonic in so many styles of music. Whoa. Music is all about tension. And release. We're trying to express ideas and emotions over a certain template and man, I was really missing out because I didn't understand how important and how beautiful the pentatonic scale is. I want to share with you eight secrets that really transform my concept and idea of how to use the pentatonic scale. The cool thing and the important thing is that you can do it right now. Three chords, C, B minor, A minor, but I like to think about it as C, G or B, A minor. Okay, one more time. So you can ask, how do I slide up and down on one string? Well, when I started playing guitar, I was playing this box, right? The box. Which is, of course, great. But the problem for me was that I did not understand what I'm doing at all. I didn't see the notes. I didn't hear them clearly. And when I started understanding what I'm doing and started hearing it, then the guitar started opening up. about it as the name of the note so la, do, la, mi, so, la. now it's helpful because I'm gonna do the same thing on one string so when I'm sliding here it's not a random kind of position I also see the fingerboard but I really say do, la, mi, so, la. so the understanding of the relationship at those five notes that penta is extremely helpful to actually make things easier and simpler okay so it's happening. The workshop is out right now. <laughs> I'm really stoked because really, I wish that workshop existed for me. I spent so much time and really wasted so much time practicing random things, not in the right way, not in the right order and not the right attention. So I'm super excited to share this Shorten Your Path and uh, please check it out. Played A minor pentatonic on one string. So, and I like the idea of kind of sliding it, just like that sound and expression. And of course, you have those little kind of vibrato that is super super expressive and kind of imitates the human voice. Sometimes, just hang there. But I'm doing one thing that I didn't talk about, which is double stops. It also sounded really complicated for me. And what I realized is that some people, when they practice guitar, they don't really see the connection between the positions and therefore there is a very very easy cure for that and this is this exercise so we're going to take two notes from each of the positions like literally this and then shift here so i'm just shifting between the positions slowly but surely while knowing what i'm doing so i'm really thinking saying the name of the notes in my head while I'm shifting in those positions and of course I also see the fingering but the point is the connection question I'm considering buying a Fender Strat but I have no clue that's the honest truth if anybody can recommend me something that's not too expensive I want to check it out and uh, thanks for that <laughs> one, of, one of the biggest things I realized music is the tension and release, the pain. And the problem is that a lot of people, a lot of guitar players specifically, don't go through the process of tagging because they play all this stuff so fast. So we wanna 
slow down. Uh, how does that feel? Mm. Mm, do, feel that pain so. And maybe without a guitar. Right? It's just about hearing those sounds and colors, and it's not something that you're born with, but it's something you need to develop. And it takes time and energy, but it's really worth your time. Believe me, if you're gonna do these simple actions a little bit every day, you're gonna be able to be so free and create with so much ease. The next couple points are a little bit more complex. Please stick around, I think they're super cool. I know you can do it, just take your time. Next. So we have this loop. Double stops. What did I just do? So I played A minor, G to E minor instead of that A minor. So I'm using basically tens and I'm feeling myself in the sound zone, if you will, of A minor pentatonic. So I can kind of mess around with these colors a little bit. Again, it's not gonna be exactly the same progression, but it's just a color. And sometimes it will create motion. Check this out. Right, so here you can say that sounds great, but how can I find those tens? So a lot of times in our conversations, you know, we'll find a moment, it's like, oh, that's a cool idea, but the framework. So here it's pretty simple. So we can think about A minor pentatonic or A minor scale. We can take these two notes from sixth string, F, G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E, F, right? So this is basically A minor, from the sixth string. From the fifth string we have this A minor, B, C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor. You can check the PDF if you want some more help with that. All I'm doing is taking this beautiful sound, the tenth. Trying to groove with it. And of course, every time that you're doing something and you get lost, it's great. It's Sometimes people feel bad about it, but it's actually amazing because it gives us very clear information. It's like a roadmap for success. Because say, oh, I can't see A minor here. Awesome. Let's talk about it. Let's figure it out and let's look at the beast right in the eye. Because that way we actually learn and progress. A huge thing we did not talk about is this. We play C major and then the passing chord is G to A minor. So there are two centers in a way in this little progression. We have, we can hear the A minor pentatonic from the point of view of C. Which is C major pentatonic or from A minor. And we need to understand the difference because although it's all the white keys, it's all cool, but we need to hear the relationship because if I'm playing this chord and I'm playing so then I'm accenting and hearing that C is a center piece versus if I have this A minor then everything is gravitating to the A minor so what I do and I think it's really helpful is actually taking a position like A minor pentatonic and hearing it from both sides. So starting from A. Or from the C side. <laughs> what a different feel, huh? And of course, it's the same fingering almost, like I'm starting from here instead of here. But how things feel and what's the gravity point, that's the big deal. Not an amazing and important exercise is connecting the position like so. Literally playing the position, sliding to the next one, sliding to the next one. Do it slow here, 
sliding, playing, sliding. And the point is that I'm trying not to sit only boxed. What I'll do is try to slide between these positions, sometimes on the top string, sometimes on the low string, and sometimes in the middle string. So. come up with a different permutation so I'm challenged to hear it to see it and to be able to utilize it and I'll try and force myself to make sure I hear it and see it and really try to be honest with yourself listen to the sound and go into the process of tagging listen 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 <laughs> not a super cool point is this <laughs> do is use E minor pentatonic and A minor pentatonic. Check it out. That's the A minor sound. Now E minor. So I'm getting getting these kind of extensions basically. Check this out. When we're playing the E minor pentatonic over the C, we're getting the three, the five, the six, the seven, and the nine. So super super lush. With the A minor, we're actually getting the five, the flat seven, the one, the nine, and the four. So when I'm soloing on this loop, simple but effective. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was fun and interesting. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. I'm gonna jam. Mm-hmm.